Hey guys, I'm Caleb Bridges and I'm the Residence Director of Pembroke Hall. And today's devotional topic is going to be faith and the role of our emotions. You know, emotions and feelings are something that we all have and we all deal with every single day. And they can be both good and bad to us. Obviously, I think that they can play a really good role in the sense that many times it's emotions and feelings that actually act as a catalyst in our life. They lead to us wanting to start new things or pursue new things or start new friendships or relationships or, you know, especially even for me, I can see how my feelings and emotions had a lot to do with my initial desire to even have a relationship with God. At the same time, we have to be careful because feelings and emotions can change. And so we can't depend upon them solely. In other words, they can't be the only thing that we look to because if we do, we'll be in the danger of always changing. So one moment I may feel this way, so I do this, and then the next moment I feel different, so I do something opposite. So we want consistency. And so that's gonna be our topic. You know, a phrase I often hear people say to this day, and we see it in Hollywood a lot and stuff like that, and it makes me wanna cringe, is, is the phrase, you know, just follow your heart. Uh, I know people mean well when they say this. What they mean is, you know, go after your dreams, don't give up, and, and I support that idea. But the idea of following my heart, I think in reality what that really means is, you know, Caleb, just do what you feel. If you feel like this, do it. And I think that's really bad advice. Why? Because I know, at least for me, how I feel changes. In fact, how I feel right now might be different in 10 minutes. And so, and probably for some of you guys, you're like, oh man, I know some girls who change like that. But guys, we can't say anything because we do the same. It just looks different for us. And so we have to be careful about how often our feelings in our heart changes. Um, there's a scripture verse that uh, I think is interesting and I want to talk about it for a minute. It's Proverbs 4.23. It says, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. I think people often use this verse and they'll say, oh, I'm guarding my heart. And what they're really meaning is there this idea that, oh, I'm guarding my heart from him or from her or from people on the outside. But I think that this verse, if we really understand it, it's more talking about guarding our heart from ourself and guarding our heart and protecting other people from our own heart. In other words, imagine a guard who is sitting outside of a prison or a jail. What's he guarding? He's guarding what's on the inside from coming out and doing damage, right? The person or whatever people he's guarding. I think the same is true with us. We have to guard our own heart, not necessarily from outside forces coming in, although that's also true, but more from our heart coming out. And not that our heart is all evil, although I think it can be at times, but I think what we're really talking about here is guarding me from fully relying on emotions and feelings and how I feel in a, a given moment, which can change at any second. Um, you know, I, I think I noticed this in my own life, even in friendships or relationships that I've had. Uh, and maybe you can relate to this. Maybe there's been a guy or a girl you were dating and you can just remember a time when you just felt so in love with this person. You just felt like, man, I, this is the most amazing person. I would die for this person. I don't deserve this person. I can't believe how I'm dating him or her. And then like even two days later, they did something to get on your nerves and you're just like, I can't believe, why am I even with this person? Like, this person doesn't deserve me. And so you immediately flip that switch. And I think that that tells us something about ourselves. It tells us that our emotions and our feelings change so radically that we have to be careful that we're not solely depending upon them. You know, but how do we fix this, right? So. Uh, if, if my emotions change so regularly, what do I do to uh, help guard against that? Well, I think what we have to start with is a little bit backwards. So instead of what should I do, what should I not do? And I think some of the things that we can be sure that we should not do are one, we should not act on however we feel in a given moment. So if I start feeling this way, I shouldn't just jump on that and just start saying, well, okay, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I shouldn't assume how I feel is absolute truth. And I think sometimes we struggle with that. We just think, oh, I feel this way, so I should do this thing. I don't think that that's right. I think we need to take time to reflect. And this is a great time for us to just 
get alone and pray and ask for direction. You know, God wants to lead us. He wants to show us his will and what he wants us to do with our lives. But we can't just storm forward every time we have a feeling or emotion. And so I think the important thing here is to take your time. Don't feel rushed. Don't feel like when you have a strong desire or emotion to do something or to change something that you have to do it right now. Take some time. Think about it. Pray about it. Talk to other people about it. Say, hey, here's something I'm thinking through. What do you think? Because many times when we do that, when we take some time, either in that time period our feelings change about the thing or we're able to get a little bit of clarity from the people that we're talking to and asking for direction from. So many times this can help us get to a place where we're not just being controlled by how we feel every single second of the day. Um, there's one last idea or quote that I want to leave you with, and, and this is it. It says, emotions lead us into relationships with Christ and with relationships with people. But devotion, commitment, and obedience keep us there. And I think that's the important thing. Because my feelings will always change on me, but my promises, my commitment to others does not change. So I hope this video has encouraged you in some way. I hope it's made sense. And uh, stay tuned for more videos from this committee. Thanks for watching.